Education Standard and Education Plus for Google Workspace offer robust solutions to a variety of security and phishing problems by using the Google Admin Console. In this demo from our recent webinar, Evan Israel of Google walks us through the process of remediating a phishing email that's been sprung on us on a Monday morning. This is our Admin Console. Uh, many of you are familiar with it. This is a demo version, so everything you see here is dummy data. There also may be things a little in slightly different places than what you're familiar with. We're constantly moving and updating the UI. To dive into a investigation tool demo, I'm gonna go here on the left, click security, and then click security setting, and find the investigation tool right here. This is going to bring up uh, step one, which is selecting your data source, highlighting that prior example of a phishing or malware email that you want to remediate that threat against your domain. I'm going to select, just quickly scrolling through here, you can see that there's a lot in here. You're able to uh, target any data source within the Google ecosystem. That means all apps, all reporting, all APIs. And given these new tabs, we're constantly iterating on this tool. For this case, I'm going to select Gmail log events. So let's say, you know, you walk into uh, your office on Monday and a teacher approaches and says, hey, over the weekend, I got this email. It looked a little suspicious, raised some personal red flags. I did not click on it. However, if I got it, a school of our size, it's possible that other teachers or other students received it from a similar domain. I just want to make sure that everyone's safe. So in that case, you'll be able to add a condition using the attribute tab here, and you'll be able to select incoming domain. If let's say you don't know the domain, you can search by, um, you know, from addresses, whether it has an attachment, IP, um, really there's a lot in here and you're, be, you're able to set the criteria to whatever works for this particular use case. For the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna select date because it came in over the weekend and I'm gonna say date after Friday, April 22nd. Keep it broad just to start. This is gonna surface all emails across my domain that came in since that date. To narrow that search, I could of course add additional uh, conditions, but just to demo how I would read this report is uh, you have time stamped of what the log event may be. The event here is received, archived, opened, link, link clicked, it's there could be multiple line items for a single email because it would be a receive event an open event and potentially a link click link click event uh you're also able to see who sent it here in the from who uh who it was sent to as well as the owner the domain it came from and the ip address you know some common best practices we see is let's say let's restrict incoming emails from out of state or out of country to uh, better lock that down. Let's say I notice that this email right here is malware. And um, I also noticed that these individuals clicked on these links. I want to fully remediate this threat as well as check in with those users who may have already clicked on a link. I'm going to select actions here and I can actually delete these messages directly from the inbox of their owners. What that means is if you notice that a number of uh, individuals received this email, but did not open or did not click. If you get in there early and delete these, they will never notice the difference. It will never have, uh, they will never have the opportunity to interact with that potential nefarious or malicious content. You can also mark it as phishing or mark it as spam, which improves our artificial intelligence. And next time, uh, emails coming in that exhibit similar criteria could be blocked at the onset and never get through. I highly recommend marking these as spam or phishing because at the domain level, you're improving that, uh, that algorithm that protects your entire domain. Many of you are familiar with marking something as spam for your individual inbox. That is strictly just for that user. This does it across all domain users. So the impact is felt much more broadly. So if I want to delete these, I select delete. I say phishing attempt. And I say delete five messages as an added check here. Select delete. It's going to automatically delete those those messages and um, you know further protect your domain. Thank you for watching. 
If you would like a quote or more information about Google Workspace, please visit our website, oetc.org slash google dash workspace.